everyone and welcome today we're going to be installing the arc 4 custom firmware on both the psp and on the ps vita which is going to be through the adrenaline application so it's going to be a lot of fun there's going to be two parts of this video and i'll have timestamps in the description down below so you can go to the ps vita section if you need to install it for your ps vita and we're going to start off this guide with the PSP and we're going to have a lot of fun doing that. So before we get started, I wanted to explain what ARC4 custom firmware is. We just got the latest version released on June 27th of 2023, version 4.20.59. Looks like they heavily improved and refactored the VSH menu. A text editor will now ask you to save when closing a modified file. You can now copy game information to use on text editor and several other fixes and improvements. Now the great thing about this new custom firmware is that it's improved and a modern custom firmware for the PSPs and PS Vitas. It's very simple to use and has a lot of unique features that the old custom firmware does not have. At the same time, providing those new unique features and having the old features of the old custom firmware, which is awesome. So I haven't really covered this on my channel and this is the first time I'm doing it. So I wanted to really do this uh, guide the best way possible and try to be as simple as possible when uh, providing these kind of guides and helping you install the custom firmware on your PSPs. And I highly recommend everyone to do that because it's going to be by far the best custom firmware you can have on your consoles. So without further ado, let's get started with the beautiful PSP. All right, guys, so here is my PSP 1000 running on 6.61 Pro C Infinity 2.0. And you want to make sure that you have enough space on your memory card in order for you to copy these files over and run the application. So I have 4100 megabytes. So just make sure you have like over two, 300 megabytes free of space just to make sure you have that uh, available on your memory card. Next up, we're going to grab our USB cable, connect it to our PC, and connect our PSP. So just make sure you have a stable connection. Moving on to our PC, in the comment section down below, you'll find a link to the version 4.20.59 of ARC4, the latest release. And under Assets, you want to click on the arc4.zip, and this is 14.5 megabytes. In your downloads, you'll find a new zip folder and you want to right click and extract the files. If you don't have an extracting program, you can use either WinRAR or 7-Zip. Install that on your PC and you should be able to extract any files that are zipped or .rar files. So once that's extracted, you'll have a new folder called arc4. It's 26.4 megabytes. So let's open that folder up. And we do have our PSP connected. There's our USB drive right there. So we have our ISO folder, our root, music, picture, PSP, SC plugins, and video. Open up your PSP folder. And the first folder we're going to copy from ARC4 is the ARC underscore 01234. We're going to grab that folder and copy it under our save data folder. And since I already have these files copied, I'm just going to cancel that. Next up, we're going to move the arc loader folder to our PSP game folder. Let's open up game. And if you have various folders within the game folder, like I have for the plugin, the categories like plugin, just throw it in the one that makes more sense, like applications. That's the one that I threw it in. Now, this next part is going to depend on what firmware you're running on. And there's going to be various different options for you to uh, have the custom firmware running on your PSP. You can have the permanent custom firmware via classic CIPL, or you can have it under the new CIPL, and you can have the live custom firmware. Now, with the video that I did, on my channel, I showed you guys how to install custom firmware on your PSPs using Infinity 
under 6.61. So that's what we're going to be doing in this demonstration. And if you do have Infinity 2.1, this is what you want to do. Now under PSP, you want to find the Infinity folder. We want to copy over the eboot.pbp. So let's right click and copy just like that. And if you're using a PSP Go, this is the file that you're going to need through your update. Once that's copied, let's go under our game folder and within your updates folder. So this will be under my updates subfolder and under update, we're going to right click and we're going to paste that. So this one's already done and we're ready to have that uh, custom firmware permanently installed on our PSPs. So that is it for copying all the files from the ARC4 folder to our PSPs. Now it's time to go back to our consoles and run the application. Back on our PSP consoles, let's disconnect our USB cable. And let's find the application we just copied over. So this one will be under my applications. And there is the Arc Launcher. So let's hit X. So now we're going to run the Infinity application under Updates. Let's run Infinity 2. Once you're here, add Welcome to Infinity, press left on the D-pad, and now you'll see the Arc Custom Firmware by Acid underscore Snake, press X. So that's our installed module. And press X to update Infinity. Press X to reboot. Power down your PSP completely. And restart it. And your plugin should be disabled, just like my custom themes plugin. And we're now at the regular CXMB. But we will see some new features if you did everything correctly. So under our settings, we'll have our custom firmware settings, our plugins manager. Very nice. And let me change one thing before we talk about our custom firmware settings. I want to make sure I hide my MAC address, so all right, we're good there. And let's check out our firmware under system settings, system information, and we have the system software at Arc 4.20.59 Infinity. So everything went great. Now, before you may get just the gray or white, and it's very hard to see, so. Uh, just go in and change the color so you'll you'll be able to see all the font and stuff like that but let's take a look at the custom firmware settings and here we have the overclock disabled we have a power save balance energy mode auto boot launcher memory stick speed up inferno cache skip sony logos hide pick zero and pick one hide mac address hide DLC and turn off LEDs. So in a separate video, I will be going through these settings and just talk about that in more detail. That way this video is not too long, but I'll also show you one last feature. And if you press the select button, you'll be brought up to a new VSH menu, which is pretty cool. We have our recovery menu, advanced VSH menu, shut down device, suspend device, reset device, reset VSH, and exit. So let's check out the advanced VSH menu. And you can do all sorts of things here. And again, we'll talk about this in another video. That is pretty cool. But if you hit the X on custom launcher, this will bring up a unique launcher that's of Arc 4. Check that out. 
So right now, these are the games that are available for me to play. Uh, I have to figure out the plugins situation and disable that. It's very easy. All I have to do is go into recovery menu and disable that. But we'll talk about that in a different video. So there you have it. Congratulations. We now have Arc 4 installed on our PSP consoles. So we just got done installing custom firmware on our PSP consoles. Now it's time to move on to the beautiful and powerful PS Vita. So now we're going to move on and installing Arc 4 through Adrenaline on our PS Vitas. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our Vita shell. And we want to make sure that our main settings our select button is the FTP, so we're going to be transferring these files via FTP server. It's just the easiest way for me to do it right now. So let's press select and get that FTP server running. And on our desktop here, I'll do a quick connect. And there we go. We are successful. And there are the folders to my PS Vita. In the comment section down below, you'll find a link to the version 4.20.59 for ARC4. And make sure you click on the ARC4.zip link. And it's 14.5 megabytes. So click on that. And once you finish downloading that, you want to extract the zip folder. Right click and extract files. And if you don't have an extracting program, you can either install 7-Zip or WinRAR to extract these folders and files for future use. So once you have it extracted, you will have a new folder called ARC4. And it's 26.4 megabytes. So let's open that up. And you'll find a README, a PSP folder, PS Vita folder, themes, update, and ARC01234. On your FTP client, open up the UXO folder and you want to find the PSP EMU folder. This is our adrenaline. And let's open up our PSP and open up the save data. And here we're going to copy over the arc underscore 01234 folder. So grab that, copy that over, and that's finished. Let's go back and under game, we're going to copy over the arc loader. If you have subfolders like I do, just throw it into one of the folders that makes sense. Uh, for me, I have the homebrew app, so I'll open that up. And in the arc 4, let's open up the PSP. And we're going to grab this arc underscore loader folder. And just copy that over to your game folder. And once that's copied over, we're going to go back to Arc4. And under PS Vita, under Adrenaline folder, grab the k.bin, copy that, or just drag it over into the Arc Loader folder. So open up the Arc Loader folder, copy that over, and overwrite the k.bin folder with the new one from the adrenaline folder so that is it for the file section we can now disconnect our ps vitas from the ftp client so let's do that let's grab my controller here and let's run adrenaline so let's go under our homebrew apps is where i have it copied over so here is arc loader Let's run the app. And we are now loaded up into the new Arc custom firmware. And you can see here we have new options of custom firmware settings, our plugins manager. Let's go under our system settings and check out the system information and our system software is now the arc 4.20.59 adrenaline so that is awesome and pressing select we're bringing up the new VSH menu very cool so we have the recovery menu the advanced VSH menu shutdown device suspend device reset device reset VSH 
and our custom launcher. Let's check out the advanced BSH menu. And you can see we have all sorts of different settings. And I'll be covering this in another video because I don't want this one to be too long. Uh, but that is awesome. And I can't wait to have fun with this. So let's go back and run the custom launcher. And this is a custom arc launcher. And it's pretty cool. You could just run your games and stuff like that through here. Very nice. And pressing start will launch the app or game that's there. So let's quit our game. And this will take us back to Adrenaline with the ARC4 custom firmware ready to go. And you can always tell just by pressing select, you'll see ARC4.20. And we're actually going to exit out of here real quick and run Adrenaline one more time. And one thing to keep in mind is that ARC is not going to completely stay on your adrenaline you will have to uh, run the app every single time so you would have to go to the homebrew apps or wherever you have arc loader uh, installed and you'll have to run this application now if you do have the adrenaline bubbles manager all you have to do is just create the bubble manager for uh, the arc loader so create an auto boot bubble for arc loader run that instead of adrenaline and you should just boot up into arc uh, custom firmware as you can see there there it is 4.20.59 but there you have it that is arc 4 on the ps vita very nice and that is it for this one guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i hope that i was helpful in this guide and i was able to have you understand and guide you through this process of installing ARC4 custom firmware on your PSPs and or on your PS Vita consoles. Let me know in the comment section how I did and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more content here on the channel. Thank you so much for watching again guys take care and we'll see you on the next one.